Hey everybody, back with a new episode of Supernatural. Last episode was incredible. I loved, love, love seeing Bobby and Rufus again and just how they did that episode. It was just so well done and just delightful. I had a great time. And I realized when I was editing, I didn't really talk much about the Dean and Bobby seeing each other in the nest thing, but that was great. Like Dean saving him in the future, but at the same time was amazing and it felt like Bobby was here a little bit you know because he was alive at that time and in the present day with Dean inside that nest which is trippy to think about but so great and maybe gave Bobby a little bit of comfort I don't know if he could put it together that that would be a, a future Dean but I know he was so worried about Bob about Dean and Sam at that time that maybe he I don't know maybe he felt a, a little a good about seeing him maybe he figured out that Dean had something to do with saving him I don't know that would be a big leap but I just love how they did that <laughs> so cool and uh, you know the, the 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 sigil being a a placeholder for the mark and how previously the mark was holding Amara at bay and they really had to figure out a new way to deal with the death eater or the soul eater really you know sets up a lot of stuff with Amara potentially and I don't know I've got some ideas percolating but uh, there's so, so many ways this could go and we're still pretty much in the dark with her ha, no pun intended but uh, I don't know the uh, the oldest rule thing which you know truly the oldest because God sacrificed Amara. I love that Rufus said, screw that. It makes me feel very optimistic going into this last little bit of the season and that that may be short-sighted, I don't know, but so many of the things that Dean and Sam have had to do or have had the chance to do, it, 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 the cost has been a sacrifice. And uh, it seems reasonable that that's what it would take to take down Amara. But if they can subvert that and come out on top together because they are special and do things differently and are not just a carbon copy cycle of this thing that's been happening since the beginning, I would love that. Um, but I feel like we're so far away from being able to figure out what to do with her. I don't know. I don't know. This next episode is called Red Meat. I mean, I'm hoping we're going to see her because I, I, you know, they, they put a lot on the one episode where she was like calling God out and yes, killing innocent people. Um, but I, I really still don't understand completely her end game here. Is her goal to completely destroy all of God's creation that seems like what she would do but I would like to know that instead of assuming that we haven't heard anything from her in a while maybe she's going after a, a different uh, using a different tactic now to try to talk to God I don't know I just would like more of her um, but you know, red meat sounds like a body type thing and she's literally leaving bodies and taking the souls. So I don't know if that's what's going to happen in this episode or not, but I would like it. I would like it, but I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Red meat sounds gross. So who could say, but let's get into it. Excuse me? The stomach? <laughs> what? Not 
not slow mo. I went deal with the devil. What we're gonna have to make now? <laughs> we'll get him back. Guess. How? Oh, I don't know. But we'll figure it out. In the meantime, we gotta get out of here. Clear our heads. Said that Wait, last episode. Case. Let's do what we do. Let, let's work it. Put your thing down, flip it, and reverse it. Oh my god. Okay, pressure, pressure on the wound. Scratches. Scratches? No, 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 no. No, 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 we can't stay here. Not with the others still out there. Do you mind uh, showing us about where they are? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Right about there. Did she say hello? The bouncer gave her an eye. Michelle's real sick, but she's got a chance. Him, he's slowing us down. And if they find us, we saved you. Okay, we're saving both of you. It's three lives versus one. Oh, oh. Please, uh, no, that's not gonna work. Sorry. I thought we trained you boys up right. I knew it. Warned you they were coming. All but served them up to you on a platter. Three didn't do it. Go find the heat. Get out of here. He won't leave you. And we won't last out there without him. Well, that's a conundrum. <gasps> Are you kidding? Oh, no, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Uh-uh. Oh, my God, bro. He was bitten. Oh, you're you're dead, dude. Oh my God! Stop! No way! Oh my God, Dean's gonna kill you so hard. We are gonna have to make a deal. Did he really just die? Dean's gonna kill. Oh my fucking god! Oh my fucking god! Sammy? Oh no! 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 Not this! Like obviously he's not gonna be dead. Dead. What are you gonna do? Hey, hey, hey. Dude, you don't want this. Come out. <laughs> oh my god! Get some rest. You're right. The bad guys. They're still out there. You're yes. the bad guy! Werewolves. We don't know what their deal was. This is tough. Because Sam and Dean have saved each other. And as a result, people have gotten killed. And he saved her. And what did this? Killed Sam. But that was such a sh the, that's such a direct I murder. I don't know if it's exactly the same. Death. It's not the end. Oh God! You're not. Oh God! Billy. <laughs> Oh no! She said it's for real! <gasps> what are you doing? Oh god! I need to talk to her. What the fuck are y'all gonna do? More like a scary, crazy death machine. I'm looking with pretty much anything with Barbara. Why? Why? Why are you doing What are you so doing? Dean! Sam! Oh my god! Good God, go save Dean before he kills himself. This is Barry Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Dean, stop. I try to do this. Tell her to bring me back if she can. Dean, this is so dangerous. No hard feelings, okay? No hard feelings. I'm going to kick your ass. Are you trying to talk to a reaper? Oh my god, Sammy, how? This is such a bad idea. You two are gonna be the death of me. What do you think? Everything? Damn it. Uh, grab me Papa's stomach. Fuck it. 
you. Oh, I hope you die. This episode is stressful. Smart Sam. Okay, Billy. How, you're not gonna be able to negotiate with her. It took you long enough. Of all the ways I thought you'd go, this ain't it. Heart attack. Some thing. Heart attack. She said heart attack first. Charles in charge. Well, I was Pig Bear. Point is. Knows his cholesterol level. Type. Doesn't fit your whole martyr thing. Are you sure? So, when the darkness is out there, and the world is gonna burn, and the of you, slam, bro. That's the end of everything, including you. The Sam's the only one who can stop it. How's that? <laughs> that's what I thought. <laughs> Jesus. It's cute, though. You pretending you're trying to save Sam for the greater good when we both know it is very cute for you. Oh, you can't lose him. I'm here to reap you. Billy, tell him at least. And the kicker is. Oh. Sam's not dead. Oh, honey. But you are. Or will be. Soon enough. Oh my god, Dean! The empty. I don't like the sound of that. <gasps> Got him. Got him. Oh, honey. Reevaluate your life. Stop doing this. That was understandable, but stupid. You, if, if Sam was dead, you'd have to try to defeat the darkness. Yes. Him. Half dead and fucked y'all shit up. You're next. <laughs> Sam boy. That's a can do attitude. More drugs is the last thing he needs. He could die again. <laughs> Fine, just. Keep your eye on him. Damn, Sam. You're doing it, huh? That is a will to survive. Look at you. Sammy? This is a shit day for you, man. <laughs> really not think he can do the Amara thing. Is he really putting Whoa. all his eggs in Sam's basket? This guy. Damn, did he just kill that lady who saved Dean? This is some bullshit. That woman deserves a medal of honor. <laughs> Jesus, dude. You gonna kill your wife? She next? We'll be together. No. Please. Forever. No. Damn it. No, ma'am. Sam? Sam! Sam is a motherfucking MVP. It's okay, you know. Give him a purple heart. God, you too. You too. He couples counseling, codependency, and how it's bad for the world. <laughs> I watched the man I loved. Yeah, yeah. Who hasn't been there today? It's not normal. How should I? <laughs> oh, you know. When you thought I was dead, you know. What did you do? About redecorating your room, you know, putting in a jacuzzi and this disco ball really class up the joint. Yeah, right. I believe that. Seriously, I do. <laughs> like hell. Dean Winchester. Honey. I get it. I get it. I can't say that I wouldn't want to die if my son died. But. 
you have to save the world. If you die, Amara is going to eat everything, most likely, and then everyone's going to die. Dean, honey, look, he made a gamble. But at the same time, I think if it didn't work out, he would have been fine with it because he died too, which is not okay. It's not okay on a normal day, much less when the darkness is here because of y'all, you know? <sighs> Just because it's understandable doesn't mean it's okay. This was a good episode, and it makes me feel like I haven't felt since probably season eight, where, I mean, I guess you could say the end of last season is directly related to this as well. But, uh, this is a bigger deal, even though this is kind of just, you know, an episode that's not related to... The plot, it's hugely, hugely related to their characterizations. And y'all made a choice at the end of last season. You both did. Y'all can't not fix this. If they don't fix this, everything's over. I know he was grieving and out of his mind and fucking fuck but oh my god dean i can't believe he did that i can't believe it but god damn it now even amar like he really must think he can't do shit but i think he is gonna be the one because he's assuming he can't but dean honey I'm frustrated by this, but at the end of the day, it is what it is because this is what the show is and I just have to deal with it. And uh, I wish they would fucking change. I, I Look, if, if Dean would have like, Let's hypothetically say Sam truly died and Billy wouldn't bring her back and Dean was saved. Go defeat Amara or try or die trying and then you can be dead. Did Dean really think that he was just going to be able to talk to a Reaper and live? I mean, it's the gamble he took. It, it has, ah, uh, Dean. It has to be what he said, that Sam's the one to defeat Amara. And if Sam's not there, he feels like he can't. But to not even try? Dean, you're a hero too. It's not just Sam. Oh my God. They need to, I don't know what they need to do, but this is not it. This is the worst case scenario when you think about coming off of season 10. This close. This close to them both being dead, and if they're both dead, it's over. I mean, obviously, that's not what's going to happen. I realize I'm watching a television show, but come on, in terms of what y'all done, what y'all are on the hook for, this was a failure. Point blank, period. I mean, if Dean was just completely certain that he was going to live through his fucking overdose, then fine. I guess maybe we can give that to you. But he had no idea. Billy was ready to go and she would not negotiate, which is scary because, you know, there's always a potential for one of them to die. And 
she means that she's not bringing them back and the empty sounds terrifying so damn it this was so romeo and juliet come on <laughs> but you know the difference is they were fucking teenagers dumb teenagers dean you have got, he needs counseling sam look i have nothing bad to say about sam he survived the unsurvivable and picked his ass up and got himself out of some really bad situations and was the mvp <laughs> dean on the other hand is the lvp <laughs> Jesus Christ, son. Oh, he has got to start believing in himself and not just believing in being there for Sam. You are a whole ass person on your own. Let's say uh, Lucifer is here and he defeats Amara in some amazing way. Then Lucifer's in charge. That's not okay either. And then Cass is dead. Dean, this is... Please learn a lesson. Please learn one fucking lesson. They'll never learn the lesson. They won't. They won't. Damn. Dean really said fuck everyone. <laughs> but Sam... <laughs> If that's what you're into, good for you. But I don't appreciate it. Uh, damn. I'm Look, I'm going to give it to him and chalk it up to grief and just being out of it. And uh, he made a bad decision. And he got very, very, very lucky. And let's hope it doesn't come to that again, at least before we can deal with Amara. I'm very annoyed. Not annoyed. I shouldn't be so hard on Dean. Because I would be out of my mind too. But oh my God, this is literally a part of the job. This is what you are doing. That is always a possibility. Fuck the world, huh? I mean, I guess we could say this is part of his. He said last year he doesn't have a death wish. And I'll take him to his word. But baby boy has been suicidal in the past. And uh, if anything's going to make him want to remember those kind of paths, it's going to be him losing Sam. And you know what, like them having the guy be the one who, the husband saving his wife, killing Sam, while understandable, doesn't make it right. In the same way Dean's choice doesn't make it right. I don't know. This is a very, I, I, I like this episode. I do. It just shows you where we're at. And while I may not like where we're at, it is where we're at. And it, it was well done. And, uh, I don't know. Damn. Damn. Romeo and Juliet is a tragedy. That was almost a goddamn tragedy. I don't find Romeo and Juliet romantic. I'm like, damn, look at them dumbass kids and their stupid ass families. I don't know. 
it's wild that Billy doesn't even care about the potential of the Winchesters to be the ones to take out Amara. She's like, nope, I said what I said. Okay. Like, it's kind of cool that, that Dean did that uh, very similarly to when he talked to Tessa when he was almost dead at the beginning of season two. That was pretty cool. And you know that's where he got the idea. That was so fucking risky. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to have to sit with this a while and really try to figure out Dean's headspace. Did he really on, like, did he think about the odds of what he just did? Or was he not? I mean, obviously he, he was think he wasn't thinking, he was thinking rashly. He was just saved, like literally the first thought in his head is save Sam, save Sam, save Sam. And if that means I die, that's a possibility. But like he had to know that it's a possibility that Billy was gonna say no to switching places. I mean, if he would have been, hmm, I don't know. Could he have done a demon deal? Could he have summoned Crowley or something? He's not in charge, but I, like he's still a crossroad demon at, at the very least, I would think. We could have gone down that road again. But the Reaper thing was such a risk. Oh my God. I don't know. I don't know. I feel bummed. And uh, not because this was a bad episode. It was not. It was really good, actually. But it's like being uh, confronted with what you don't want to... Uh, acknowledge is that I don't know if worse came to worse if Dean would choose life like that conversation he said he was talking to the wife about like what he was saying is not what he does he doesn't just deal he can't imagine it. But in their line of work, Dean, you need to imagine it and think of what you would do and not do something like this. He didn't even die. Oh my God. Oh God. You're too old for this, Dean. Come on. I like that they did this because of what happened at the end of last season, the finale. This is not the greater good unless it's the greater good. It won't be the greater good if they don't fix this. And they'll go down in non-history because there will be nothing <laughs> as um, the enders of everything. And that was the plan in the first apocalypse. And Sam died and Dean lived on. He wasn't happy. But maybe because Sam is the one that defeated Lucifer Dean, Dean has got to be the one that stops Amara. He needs to believe in his worth. And at this point, it seems like he only believes in his worth, his value to, to Sam. And that Sam is the one, is the hero. Sam is a hero, but he's not the only one. I don't know. I'm kind of bummed by this, <laughs> but not surprised. I'm not surprised, but to witness it is tough. Damn. 
damn, I want y'all to be the heroes. Be the heroes. I don't know. I'll be very curious to see what y'all had to say about this. I'm conflicted, but I'm also pretty certain in how I feel. <laughs> but I'm a little bummed. I'm a little bummed. But if it pays off, then I'll be happier because maybe this is something that Dean needed to see in himself to recognize what he feels about himself and uh, actively work towards changing it and I don't know if you ever will hmm. interesting episode very very interesting and I liked it a lot I did so thanks for watching guys I'll be back soon